Everybody, welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario podcast, uh, your favorite podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Mike Feeney, being joined with me as always by Mike Cannon and also Brendan Sagalo. What's up? Who knows how the intros go? That's right. So tell us why you're trying new stuff. You just I'm said. trying to look. You know, I'm trying new shit. I got this I, I'm wearing a, jacket. I'm wearing a light jacket, which yeah. which moderately makes sense because even I'm right now a little bit hot. Well, this You're is, wearing a I'm wearing a snowboarding jacket on the corner of Fulton and yeah. St. James selling crack bubble jacket. I yeah. love it. It seems very I warm. I'm wearing a perfectly uh fleece inside, light outside, Same. windbreakery type thing. Yeah. It's where uh well, too many times temperature. have I, you know, I'll wear the the black sweatshirt and stuff and it's you know, everybody's doing it. And I'm just starting to realize it now. I'm like looking around. I'm like, everybody's, no. everybody's wearing the fucking. You're just noticing? Every that? single yeah. person is wearing a mom's spaghetti sweatshirt. Every <laughs> <time>. <laughs> no, I can't even wear that. At least that was different. I was like, okay, this is different. Yeah. It's different. It says little, something else. A little bit of the same thing, but a little different. Very cool looking. Uh huh. And everybody's got a fucking issue with it. So. I'm, I'm wondering if you, at any point, can talk about yourself and moving on from something without directly insulting me. Why? And what I'm doing. What? Everybody's got on a black hoodie. Everybody no, and his saying. brother. I just look out there and everybody's doing it. And he's literally like looking me up and down. <laughs> I, while he's sometimes I'm not talking wear about some you. Some blue plaid over it to I, disguise the black. I understand, I'm, Brendan. I'm literally not talking about you. Okay, I'll, then, I'll name the you, people I was talking about. That's fine. I, I understand that you're not talking about me and my heart knows that. But understand I don't think it does. that a human being, <laughs> when they hear something about what they're yeah. wearing while you're making eye contact but I, with them, I said, they may take that the wrong way. I said and black it's not sweater. You're not wearing a black. You're wearing a sweatshirt. fucking. No, I said sweater. Black sweater. And then sweater. Let, let, play it the fuck sweatshirt. back. I said black sweater. Why are you sweater. getting so bad? Why are you sweatshirt. getting real bad? Because there's nothing worse than when you, you're you, screaming you know, you know the truth. <laughs> when you know the truth and yeah. nobody in the room. You know, you think. So you Nicole, think. Nicole, did I say sweater? Your actual real thing. Is that every stand-up comedian wears black sweaters? Well, let me. <laughs> they kind of do yeah. without they hoods. Kinda yeah. Do. Oh, yeah. that that sounds a lot they like kinda comedy. They kind of do now. They kind of do now. Black sweaters. Black sweaters. No. Black sweat. Yeah. Not hoodies. Hoodies are far less popular than black sweaters. Well, hoodies had their time. You know what I mean? But I think everybody's wearing fucking black sweaters now. <laughs> I come. I come <laughs> into fucking just, so hard. Yeah. I come into the bonfire yesterday mm -hmm. and. And, and everybody's Bob, there wearing everybody's full cotton wearing, sweaters. Yeah, look, no, but Bobby is dressed just like me. Wearing a black Black hoodie? sweaters, black pants. I did the fucking spit roast. Uh, 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 Racine's Bobby was wearing, wearing a hoodie a fucking... on the bonfire, by the way. No, he was Yes, he was. I saw the picture. You were both wearing hoodies. He was not wearing a hoodie. Were you? No, we were both wearing sweaters, you fucks. <laughs> I'm telling this you show is a hypothetical-based show where we answer your scenarios, <laughs> what-ifs, morality questions, whether people or not are wearing hoods. I can't uh, even... All of, everything is I disgusting. Can't even, like, and we give, I have, we give preferential treatment to the Patreon <laughs> members so they get to ask the first question. Like Ethan Skolfox, for example, who asks, you have one day to get from New York City to L.A. and all you have to, all you have to your name is a $20 bill. A and a black sweater. A <laughs> Flower and a lighter. What's your plan, and how do you use each item? Sorry, so you get, you got to go from New York to L.A. You have one day to get there. You have twenty dollars, a flower, and a lighter. Hmm. So I mean, how, how can you use all three to get across the country? You just got to, and you have one day. Damn. Here's what I'm doing. You're trading. You're going. I'll give you this flower for that. Uh, Paperclip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you gotta, uh, go to, you gotta go to a restaurant and be like a flower for the lady, forty dollars. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's uh, not bad. Exactly. Uh, then buy flowers. Or can I tell you what I was gonna do? No, sure. I was just going to go up to the female pilot. They have them now. Um, uh, at JetBlue, and I was gonna go. I picked this flower for you, and I'm also a pilot. And she's like, "Are you 
my, you know, are you my bulkhead today or whatever? And I'll go, yeah, just jumping puddles left to right, you know, nice. and just trying to get by. Yeah. And then that's, and then I'll be in the cockpit and I'll it's get a free the flight head, to Los I Angeles. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was like, ah. I was like, what are you trying <laughs> to I'm, I'm in my head, I'm like, is it a dead head? But <laughs> dead head it, sounds, dead head, uh, or a duck head? Dead head, I think is right. But that also now thinks, makes me think of Grateful, uh, Dead. Grateful Dead. Right. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it might be dead head. You say to her, I love the Grateful Dead. She's like, hop on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, take it LA. Jones, you know it. All right. So, <laughs> but that's what I would say. So, so I'm getting on, I'm using the flower to get on a plane. You think that Smart. flower is enough? No, to this is, this is, this is post nine 11 security. This is what I do. <laughs> I buy a ticket. I buy a ticket, you know, with what the 20, not the money. Here's what I do. No, you're right. Here's what I do. <laughs> I, you know how on the other side of security they have the Starbucks and all that stuff. Yeah, she's running late. Where? How? And uh, she? How? The pilot. Okay. The pilot. So she comes to the airport. Did you do something to her yeah. car to ensure that? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> obviously I did something, something to her car. Yeah, you uh, gotta make sure she's. Yeah, yeah. Place. I scared her in long term yeah. parking. Well, she's a woman. She's a bad driver. Sure. <laughs> yeah. She's been in many yeah, well, She was in the left lane. So she was she, probably complaining about something. So yeah. she was. Doing 10 in the left. Clogged her toilet with a tampy. She's <laughs> running late, but she really loves Starbucks. So as she goes to get in line, there's a long line. I see that, clock it, go up to the Starbucks, use that $20 to buy her her venti of her favorite drink. She goes, how did you know? And I go, ah, you just look like you're having a tough day. I'll see you later. And then she goes, where are you flying? I go, LA. And she goes, that's where I'm flying. I go, I'm a pilot. You're a pilot. Deadhead conversation. And then we give her the flower to get in the cockpit. But what are you wearing to yeah. show that I'm wearing you're a, a full pilot. pilot suit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. How did you Obviously. get the pilot suit? I see. Well, that was before the challenge. I already owned the pilot suit. Uh, yeah, I bet uh, you do own a pilot suit. I got yeah. wings. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you fucking. You don't really do. need it. You just need wings and like a really nice black sweater. You also oh, need like everybody has those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a comedian. Right, there's wings. an epidemic of I black could have been sweaters. A, I could have been a pilot, but I just burned all my black sweaters. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, you need a card with your face and a number that would allow you through security. Yeah, no, I'll have. I'll go through security the normal way. I have a license. Why not? I don't think we're ever getting to LA. <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly not. What I'm doing is I'm using that 20 to go to a hardware store, right? So I'm I'm spending probably 10 on the Uber, 10 more on a hammer to knock my teeth out. Then I go to a truck stop and I suck dick till the cows come home. Well, you only right. have one day to get there. You have 24 hours. To I get can to make Los it there, be, trucker math, dude. I, I then physically. get into the trucker community. I'm <laughs> doing meth with them. I'm staying awake. They're staying awake. I'm more or less just a gummy attachment to their cock. Whenever they get hard at all, that's when I take care of them. And I'm a, basically a full service ride bitch. But you can't get to L.A. in time. I can get to L.A. today. <laughs> <laughs> by plane? No. <laughs> yeah. By car. By bus. It's literally by only truck. by plane. Yeah. In one day? How long does it take to get to L.A. in a car? I'm going to guess... 32 hours of consecutive driving. What about week. flying truck? It's probably much flying longer truck. than that, actually. <laughs> what? I, I, I said, whatever I said, I think it's higher than that. It's got to be way higher than that. It's like a week, maybe Three right? days? Okay. Maybe three days. I'm talking like 24 hours a day nonstop driving. Yeah. And you can't drive a flower, so. Cool. No, I suppose you can't. But I guess I'll go <laughs> then to uh, a smaller. Uh, so I'll take, I'll get the truck driver to drive me to a smaller airport where the, uh, where the pilots are dumber so <laughs> so oh well, newark airport yeah, huh? so, doing well, my airport thing i see so i'll go to yeah well you have to apparently airport. i can't get there yeah. by Nicole, truck how long is it by drive by drive. 11 hours oh 41 hours 11 hours 41 hours Damn. yeah 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 so okay I, so that's exact almost so what about my train? so it is i was almost right i said 30 something what about by train because then i could do the uh the brad pitt asian speed movie. train bullet train. yeah a bullet train would would I don't think there is the infrastructure yet, but in theory, if there was one, that could get you there in yeah. time. Right? Maybe Elon Musk's underground tunnel. But you have to. Perhaps. Should we go to Montana? Yes, I want to go to Montana. It looks big time. So Billings. big sky. Yeah, it looks so nice. Uh, know who lives I'm there? Michael it. Keaton. Give him a call. He does. Do live there. He lives on a big ranch. Yeah. And Kanye's got his thing there, right? Nope. He'll do it. Where That's Wyoming. That? Wyoming. I think Michael Keaton Where's will do Wyoming? the podcast. <laughs> what? I think Michael Keaton would do the podcast. How would you get there? So I'm thinking two ways, but they both involve tricking some young Hollywood skank. <laughs> some like Emetra, whatever her name is. What's her name? What's Emetra? <laughs> it's a car. <laughs> no, who's that? Who's that model person? I know who you're talking about. Oh, Emrata? Emrata. Emrata Retcha? I thought that was like <laughs> a Emrata fucking Ratagowski. future robot. 
So, okay. This is the two ways you could do it with the But you think she the owns a really fast car that could get you? No. There no. is where the car thing is done. But what if it's a Co- fast one? If it's a fast car. If it's car, the fastest one, it couldn't. Bugatti could get you there. No. How oh. fast could you go in a Bugatti? Let's do the math here. And how, how fast? My Bugatti, Bugatti goes go? 185. No, it goes faster than that, but sustainability, if all the roads were empty, you could probably do about 150 average, you know? But you run out of gas so quick. Yeah, I guess you would. Plus, you're going through cities and shit. Like, you're going to be hit. There's also the name of, uh, of uh, oh, but that wasn't Bugatti. That was no, it was Maserati. My ba- Maserati does 185. You knew it. I know. Nice, I clocked it. Dude, I know. Yes. My president Wish you would have said that in the moment. Well, I knew you made a mistake, so I wasn't going to make myself well, I was, look I was, like I was, an entourage idiot. Well, it was, it was Bugatti <laughs> with me replacing it currently with the reference together sure. in a perfect, beautiful yeah. harmony. We're talking, we're talking entourage for the titles. Uninitiated. We're talking yeah, titles, titles of entourage. Titles episodes. of season two of entourage. <laughs> yeah. And it's when Vince replaces Eric Maserati with a new one. And he, gives and he got it to for him. free from the local dealership. No one sees it coming. That shows. So and they go to the, the to the Lakers right, game right after Queens. What are you doing? I didn't even answer. Nothing you'd even say. I didn't even answer. I'm down. We'll okay, so you're it. flying there on a burger. <laughs> yeah. No, you go up to Emrata, who doesn't immediately get you attacked by security. Right. Sure. So this is what this is the two things that I'm thinking that you do, and they both involve her and tricking her. Okay. So one is, which I wouldn't think is gonna work, but just walking up to her with the flower <laughs> and being like, "Run away with me. Let's go to L.A." I don't think that's working, but. Well, but then logistically, so she, oh, so she. Let's go to LA tonight. You just, having never introduced yourself, you're just walking up with a wilted daffodil and you're being like, Emily, will you go to LA with me? And by the way, can you <laughs> schedule the flying? Yeah. You, well, Men are evil. Can I go to LA, it. please? Yeah. Obviously she's paying for it. Oh, yeah. I know your friend, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> she she kind of owes me one. She kind of owes me one. Call her. <laughs> Call her right now. I'm squeezing the flower. <laughs> You will call her. <laughs> <laughs> the other option, I think, because uh-huh. this one's not working, but it might. But the other option, I think, is find out wherever she like stays at when she's in New York. Yeah. Find out whatever hotel yeah. she's at. No, she has a and place here, dude. Dirty myself up. Sure. Look homeless. Yeah. I already got the jacket for it. Okay. Sit with a pot. Can I get some more stuff? Can I just? No. Get- okay. Does it cost right. twenty dollars? Doesn't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I would have lo- I would have loved the uh, flexibility on this, but it's okay. What, what What would you have if you? Could I was have- gonna say have put soil in my hand. Well, I have- don't know if that costs money. You could probably find <laughs> just scoop it out you of the ground. Fucking <laughs> idiot! I don't have enough for, for soil. We don't have enough to pay for the There's, soil. I should have, have enough, enough vegetation. For dirt. Okay, so I'm picking up dirt. I'm putting it in my hand. Yeah. I'm taking the flower, I'm putting it in the dirt, oh. I'm putting my head down, and I'm going to be like this. And I think she'll walk by and go, what's your name? Talk to her a little bit. Uh-huh. Who is this? You think this is Emrata. You think standing there, dirtied. Dirty, crying. With a dying flower. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, if, hanging, you're, if, you're able to drop, if you're able to drop your tears into to water the little flower, yeah. that's kind of a performance piece, and now you, I'm listening. <laughs> Then that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and she, we talk. I tell her my big dreams. Yeah. <laughs> I tell her like. Start with trauma bonding. She'd, she'd like that. Sure. Make, just tug, tug at her heartstrings enough. I think where Robin she goes Rick is a monster. Where she, yeah, exactly. She'll turn to her, bo- her security guard and go, and go, Bruce, we're going to LA. Come on, Randy, is whatever name I'll give her. That honestly is probably the best, uh. Best chance of success of the three of our plans. What are you talking about? I guess. <laughs> or you just spend the $20, no, your buy plan, a hammer. Your plan is I got a new plan. Nonsense. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going on the tarmac. I'm buying a hammer for $20. I'm going, look at this flower to, this, to the guy who goes, who are you? You can't be here. And then I'm smashing him to yeah. death with a hammer. And then I'm hijacking the plane. And oh, I'll okay. be in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to get on your flight. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's Brendan's pretty. That's pretty good. Emily Ratajkowski plan might have a few holes. You're in still it. on cars. <laughs> cars. <laughs> At least I know how to get to. LA. I jumped to a. <laughs> yeah, after <laughs> trial and error, you fucking dumb idiot. You would have taken a raft. You would have. <laughs> how? How? Can we look up Down how the long Hudson it would River. take? To you would have been like, I just, boat. I just get in the Hudson River and then take I'll be in LA by sunshine. Let's take a boat to a to to a LA. Raft. You'd have Let's to go up. You'd have to go up or down and around. 
You had to go underneath South America. Oh, I wanted, damn it. Oh, I, no, wanted to ask Central him, America. I wanted to ask him what How long it would body take? of water we would take. Well, we'd start at the Pacific. Nope. Atlantic. Yep. And then go all the way down to the Pacific. Well, no. We, well, you go down. When we cross over, where are what's we? What's that water, body of water called? The one in between <laughs> North and South America. This is like trying to figure out what the other names at Hogwarts are. He was like, I know Gryffindor and I know Slytherin, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of that off brand ocean bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hufflepuff Ocean. <laughs> The Ravenclaw Ocean. Yeah, that's why nobody cared about that Malaysian flight. They're well, like the Indian Ocean. Yeah, the Indian. <laughs> ah, who cares? who gives a fuck? But it, I think it'd be the Gulf, right? And then you'd okay. go Gulf through. Of Mexico. You could go through. I think the uh, the uh, canals. The canals. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you, the, I think oh, you, here we go. go. My grandfather over a month and a half. Oh my god. That's or that's on like twenty six, yeah, twenty six days of straight nonstop travel, and you had to be at a perfect ten knots. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow! 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 All right. Next question, Tanya. How do you think you would react in a robbery of a store or a bank versus how do the others think you'd react? Um. I think, I think Feeney would. Have an anxiety attack a little bit. Oh, I think you would a little bit. I think you'd you'd be so like I need to be in control of this entire situation. And when we're fucking losing our minds and shooting people for looking at us, you'd be like, guys. <laughs> uh, and I think you. Oh, we're you, robbing. No, the bank? we're not robbing. Oh. We are being. We are. The oh, in a victims. hostage situation. Like we were in seven. Like always, sunny episode. We're in like a Seven Eleven, and then oh. robbers come in. Yeah, say somebody actually busts in. How do you think you? That's spot? what the thing is. I was oh, saying. I, I chill the fuck out until he gets. I went to the Dennis leaves. Reynolds of walk out and just be like, guys, let me talk to you. I'd be like, like, yeah, I'd be like, he uh-huh. doesn't want me. He You're, wants your money. You are. Crazy. Why you would you be think, hyperventilating? I'm, I'm Johnny Comhands. No, I just do a I said I would. I would go down. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd do a crossword. <laughs> You'd be yeah, like, Sir, can I blow you? <laughs> I just want to live. I'd go down on the robber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you would be uh, like comedically scared because you get scared easily. Be, so this is actually a, a situation worth sure. being scared in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Brent when would he look first like a comes, fucking shaken snow globe. Yeah, when he first came in, off his body. Mike would depending be depending on how Mike fast would he was, I would shake. But rabbit level frightened and la- rabbit level silent of yeah. being like. That, that's the thing is there are two two real ways that I would respond. There are times where I get so shocked to my system that I almost like it. It's as if it's not happening. Like I just don't even react. It's weird. It's a calmness. Sure. Uh, I was actually telling you about that when I was, uh, I got into not a road rage situation, but some lady was like yelling at me with crew in the car while I was parked Mm. at target. And I just was kind of like, just more or less looking at her and getting so calm that she was getting enraged. And then I just closed the conversation with, I really like your hair. (laughs) <laughs> and her hair was like <laughs> Brendan's, like it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, on a woman. I mean, it does look more like on an old woman. My hair. Yeah, I don't know. I think you look like a man. <laughs> okay, I'll take. Yeah, it. there you go. All right, we're you back. look like a man to me. Okay, we're back into Are compliments. You, or I could feel Whoa. myself doing the what? Brendan, the electrocuted feeling, like you're out of your body, not being able to I've, calm yourself. I mean, I I really because I take the subway home. We I see like crazy shit all the time i know exactly oh, what a, i would you're do. a hardened m- fucking detective yeah but i mean you got <laughs> yeah i would solve the case <laughs> <laughs> it's that guy with the gun <laughs> yeah i would go yeah exactly did my job here and <laughs> just walk out and he's like <laughs> that's how you get out of that situation you yeah you, just you confuse like everybody and, go, and he was never the same again like, huh? <laughs> but it's the first one murdered who, who are you narrating to I'm just, yeah yeah i'm going like this he just goes pop Okay, give me the money. <laughs> that guy uh, was annoying. I just think I just think I would just be like like watching. I'd be like looking at him being like we're getting robbed. If all three of us I'd be like is he going to rob us? No, just let him just don't even don't don't don't. You know, I'd be like Rob- just let this happen. Robbery's different because it's not imminent death. You know what I mean? Like it's probable. It's flirting with death. For, but, it's actually but it's if, actually voyeuristic death cuz yeah. you're watching with the actual crime but knowing it's like safari. It's like yeah. you're watching the hell knowing that it could turn on you. Sure. Cause if you're up, if you're up yeah. in the air now, knowing what you know, and it's like, 
9 11, everybody can say it with the information now in our heads, but it's like at that point, that's so not anything that anybody had ever been through. It's like, how do you know whether to whether to attack, what to do, what yeah. your fate will be, what they want, like all that shit. But now knowing that it's like 100% for keeps, there's nothing you could do to avoid it. It's like, yeah, you just try to fucking beat them to death. Yeah, yeah. If, you're if, on a flight. if you know the end. That United up, 93 you know. people, I mean, they're just, <clears throat> the fact that they could like, I mean, because you got to, that's the crazy, but they didn't have like guns, you know, so they only had like, the, what are the box cutters? Yeah. Had, right? yeah, yeah. So but, it's like that first, if you just, if there's 26 rows of people and you I'm rush the you. cockpit, you're like, the first six are going to go down pretty <laughs> quick and get belayed. But you're getting cut. eventually it's a World War Z thing where you're yeah. like, it's coming. Oh. And it, it's hard to like, because if we're thinking about a plane, we're thinking there's like, it's not just like people that could attack somebody. They're old people. There's children. There's like, yeah, not everyone's cowards. eligible of attack. So if you're going like, and, and in that one minute, you have to go, they can't stop all of us. You have to say like one thing so fast. Cause if you even stand up like, Hey guys, I had an idea. They're going to come over and just, yeah, you're like, like, they're about to shit. kill us. I feel like Let's you can't lead with your arms. You got a Hulk Hogan, double leg kick to the chest. Like you have to run, That's run and move, just yeah. lead with your fucking feet. Yeah, like grab a mule. On Grab onto the chairs like this. Yeah. Bang. You don't yeah. even need to like land. Like on Ninja the Turtles in the antique store. <laughs> yeah. And then he falls. You know, Mark Wahlberg had a fucking point. <laughs> yeah. I think I would have stopped 9 11. <laughs> I'm saying I could say that aren't co- I can doing say with confidence <laughs> that I would have stopped it. But is it crazy? Do you feel any. Do you feel like constant fear when you're on planes now? Yeah, I do. Now, is it from crashing or terrorists? It's from crashing. Crashing. So yeah. you would have had that pre 9 11. Huh? You would have had that pre nine eleven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I just, I think when, when I got old, it's the same thing. Like when I look at roller coasters, I'm like, that's like dangerous. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So now I'm yeah. on a plane, and I'm like, at any moment, not even like crashing, but this thing could explode. It could just be oh, like, the amount of times that they're like about to back up, and they're like, one second, the wing wasn't attached, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, sorry, the plane was covered in gasoline. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we we had to gotta, let me just get to dry it. We're out. gonna get out of here. Let me just light the cigarette real fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, being a pilot, yeah. is hard. Uh, I think I'm more scared of. I'm more scared of crashing. Than I am Crash, uh, terrorist yeah, attack. Than a terrorist. Now again, like I said, I it's don't like, think about it at all. Like I don't know. The only thing I ever get nervous about is I get nervous more in cars than I do because I've been in car accidents than mm. plane crashes, trains. I've never once been like, I fear for my safety on this train. That, like not on subway with other lunatics, but yeah. in terms of the physical train crashing or derailing, which is crazy because when that happens, everybody's dead. No, not everybody. Nathan Everyone. McIntosh. Nathan McIntosh was in a train crash. He died, dude. Is that why he's so pale? <laughs> 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 um, but that's the but a plane. Um, I the way I look at it is like, oh, this crashes. I'm. It's over. Like there's nothing to worry about yeah. because if it, it ends, I don't know, man. You don't survive that. What's worse? Tell that like, to this, Travis Barker. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's you want to be able to be like commercial jet though. When you know when you know it's going down, you want to be able to be like, okay, I accept this, you know. But really, it's like I'd be like I'd have one minute of like you have to accept it and be like accept that I'm going to be dead, that this is going to happen right now. I would pan, I'd start puking. I'd put the thing on, puke would be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'd be like remember that episode when the Seinfeld the end the last episode where it's like crashing, you know, and, yeah. they, and then they're all freaking out and like confessing love to one another. Yeah. It was like, oh, I'm ready, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's like excited Dude, for it. That's the way you got to go. You, you have to be like, like, <laughs> like riding the bomb. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Like exactly. It. Now, cool. when you go to do, is there a thought when you go into movie theaters? Everyone, especially really? because I'm almost, I have that I'm almost never always on hundreds of milligrams of, of edibles. I remember right after I think Aurora, I went and saw one of the fucking star Wars at Lincoln center with, uh, Sean Donnelly and a couple other comics. And I couldn't enjoy the first 80 minutes of that movie because I was just like, <laughs> yeah, dude, now every, I, think, every I think about that, that every time I'm in a theater, so I go, crazy. I go, if someone came yeah. in right now, I just put Nicole right in front of me, light <laughs> her up like Swiss cheese. And then I roll out the door. <laughs> so 
I, I think about if someone came in right now, are we sitting in a spot that they would aim at first? Or yeah. or wow. would they... No, he doesn't mean literally oh, now. Oh. He means in a movie theater. Yeah, and in movie first theater. first because it's the back of his head. I, I mean... Oh, he's walking if I'm wa- Yeah, I'm, I'm also first because well, I'm wearing done. Nicole's, Nicole's done. done. Nicole, I don't think so. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Nicole's the first. See, I think, I think what it would be, and I, I told you guys, we used to do this in my psychology class in high school, is we'd... we'd out loud talk about who we would shoot first as oh. like strategy of like how would we get Man. everybody so school was the wild west back crazy, then yeah. dude we would be the, I, I remember saying the therapist I, missed a bunch of warnings this I, was truly what came out of, dude, I was like first I'd walk in I'd <sighs> kill Rob and Tim my two friends most athletic guys in the room yeah. boom they're dead Boom, teacher. He's the other threat. At that point, I feel like everybody's going to funnel into the corner, and then it's just kind of a gallery. Yeah. And the teacher's like, yeah, and they're like, and she's like, you sure you want to pass this in as your essay? Yeah. yeah. It's written in blood. Who that's, I'd kill first. My, 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 my canon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all magazine if I letters. Were Dylan Cleveland. <laughs> but, dude, but it, it's, I've it's never thought about that perfect. once going into a movie theater. Because it's like, really? I don't have that fear because it's not a thing that is learned to have happened to me. So it's hard for me to like pretend to worry about something that is statistically never. It'd be like if you all of a sudden you go, hey man, there's going to be a day where like you can't breathe. And you're like, well, but I'm breathing and I only know breathing. Sure, so yeah. it's hard for me to pretend about not breathing. Yeah. But I also don't go to movie premieres of giant, like not for that reason. I just, it's, I, there's nothing I hate worse than being in a movie theater full of people yeah. pre COVID. It's just people, someone's always loud or talking or whispering. What did you say? What did you say? I was like, give me an, I like like an empty theater. I mean, oh, the yeah. only movies I really see are bad ones with Brendan. Yeah. At 3 PM. Three, when I have well, a three hour gap. Yeah. Even more the reason why I'm like, I would have no fear. But one thing of like, we're going yeah. to the, we're going to the fucking Batman premiere at no, midnight. Nobody's shooting up a, a 3 PM Megan house you know, party I mean, house party. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did remember there was a time where I wish they you did. and you and I saw um uh we saw one of the uh uh the fucking what's that Tom Cruise plane movie Top Gun Top Gun we saw Top Gun 2 and I had that moment where I was like oh man this might get shot up like imagine if this was shot up that that just started happening and then the edible it, kicked in and it was like I saw done highway to no, I was gonna say I got news for you that edible zone. kicked in while you were having those thoughts yeah well Dunkirk oh, really? Dunkirk you could have walked in and shot the entire audience and nobody yeah, would have known the true. entire movie is you never know that was that was great that was really good sort of style ass if you could shape are we not on plugs no, not even close. Oh, wow, if wow. you could shape shift into any uh, kaiju, the giant Godzilla like monster, is that it? Did I say that right? Kaiju. What city would terrorize? What city would you terrorize or be its savior? Oh, man. Awesome. Awesome question. I love that question. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you had an answer, then it sounded like it, you gave up. It, fu- it, You know what it did? It flashed that game, uh, that old game. Do you remember what I'm talking Sim about? City? Beast something? Beast Wars? No, not Beast Wars, but it was like the- Mecha th- Warrior? Rampage. Rampage. Like, Rampage. Remember Rampage? No, but I know the rock movie. Dude, it was, <laughs> it's based off that. We should do a uh, watch along of the ramp. But Rampage. it was like you were just animals destroying the city, like Godzilla. Like yeah, and you'd do. see how-, how f- you know, I remember I played all night of Rampage once and I got to level 100 and then I went to school and I came back and my mom had shut off the game and it was like, uh, you got to like restart it I or something like that. Ride anger tears. Um, Did I cry anger tears? I don't no, know. No, it definitely just silently painted his nails black. <laughs> well, it, it didn't help. It didn't help me not paint my nails black. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what what <laughs> creature would you be With a in? How, what city would you... It says destroy or be its savior. That's an interesting Being its savior is a lot harder because... Yeah, but it seems like it could be fun because when you do kill the intruder, now all of a sudden it's like you get the city's... city. You're a god. Not really. True. They bow you, to you. You just smashed up the city and they they want someone to blame. And they're going to blame the big lizard man, <laughs> Mike Feeney. <laughs> the big ferret monster. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, you get him. Don't look to me to get him. <laughs> Brendan's like, yeah, like a big, stupid big, big thing of flubber. Big. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Take that. And and <laughs> and Mike is like, they're like, why doesn't the monster's ankles work? <laughs> Mike's monster is walking around. Ow. Ah. <laughs> He'd be the first Godzilla limping. <laughs> I got glass in my knee. <laughs> What? <laughs> you get him. You okay. did get him. You get him now. I'm just watching you. That's how this make works. a fool That's of yourself. <laughs> That's how this works. <laughs> how it works is to leave a five star review. Oh, Thank you, everybody, yeah. for doing Hell that. Yeah. And uh, tell friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the one thing you do for this podcast. You can subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel. And uh, it's growing. And tell some friends. We've had some great killer episodes recently. Uh, thanks everyone who's subscribed and sharing all those. If you want to support us in another way, you can come see the three of us live in Emmaus Theater on March 25th. And that's going to be great. And so come to do that. And then you can also come see us live in other places like Mike at Gramercy Theater. That's right. Gramercy Yay! Theater, February 25th. Last couple tickets left. So get those at MikeCannonComedy.com. Uh, I'm also going to be in Atlantic City, February 17th through the 18th. I will be in West New Westminster, so not the old one, British Columbia, and then uh, Seattle, Washington for a bunch of shows, Phoenix, Houston, etc. at all, uh, all at MikeCannonComedy.com. And, uh, oh, check out, uh, at this point, check out the last episode of the Alaska documentary. It's out. The whole motherfucking series is now out. It's a masterpiece. And uh, bow at our knees, <laughs> at Nicole's knees. You could come, or well, you figure that out. You could come see us live this weekend. Test. Uh, us being Sagalo and I. We're, this weekend, you're going to see us in Grand Rapids, Michigan at uh, Midtown and the Independent in Detroit on uh, the 18th, Saturday. So, listening room is awesome. Come to one of those. Which yeah. Is that? Huh? That's Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. Awesome. You guys are having a good time. It's uh, going to be a good weekend. Come out, have show fun. support. It's going to be fun. Bring us weed. Uh, <laughs> I already know people that are coming that came out last time. So yeah. They're very excited. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, so come out to those shows. Change up your act, Brendan. Oh, right, because you were just there, right? You need a whole new... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, and that's really all I got for now is what he just said. So support me on YouTube. I just put out another music video, Sag Daddy to God. You heard of him. You know, I'm in this bitch with the terror. You know? Terror squad. I'm in this bitch with the terror. Got a handful of cash. Better grab an umbrella or something like that. Isn't it that? Is it that? I'm in this bitch with the terror. Got a better food of cash. Better grab, grab an umbrella. I'm making it right. I'm making it right. I'm making it right on that mouth. Uh, and twitch.tv slash sags to riches. Twitch.tv slash NY Fresh Maker. MikeMiniComedy.com for other dates. Nicole. Nicole C. Lines on Instagram. For the smoothest cannabis smoking experience, you need a freezable pipe, bubbler, or bong from Freeze Pipe. If you're tired of harsh smoke, coughing attacks, or that dragon throat feeling, then try an icy freeze pipe and start enjoying clouds so smooth you'll check if the bowl is even lit. The secret is freezable glycerin chambers that come on every piece. Oh yeah. Pop one of these chambers in the freezer for one hour and as smoke passes through, it's instantly chilled by over 300 degrees. Their pipes and bubblers smoke nicer than traditional pieces that cost twice as much. And a freeze pipe bong? Well, once you smoke one of those, there's no going back. I've uh, I've actually gotten to use one of these. They uh, they sent a different podcast I was on a free sample, not us, but uh, it was really <laughs> awesome. And uh, yeah, totally could not feel it in my lungs. And uh, it it was just one of those things where like, you know, your first time hitting an ice catcher, and oh, you're just yeah. like, oh yeah, oh this is what it could be. Oh yeah, when you put like ice cubes and bongs and stuff, and you're like, this is great. I mean, we used to put blunts in the freezer that was yeah. to make it last longer but it also just kind of was nicer well so imagine that and now make it not white trash and you have freeze pipe <laughs> because it's like it's glass on glass suction seal so it's the cleanest hit you could possibly get there's no stuff spraying out the sides it doesn't look like Amazing. a dragon queefing it is a perfect hit each and every time and uh yeah it got me it got me pretty late and all you got to do is put it in the freezer one hour before. And if there's one thing stoners are great at doing, it's pre-planning. That's right. So <laughs> yeah. for the smoothest smoking pipes, bubblers, bongs, and dab rigs, visit 
www.thefreezepipe.com. That's T H E F R E E Z E P I P E.com and use the code HTS for 10% off your order. That's thefreezepipe.com and code HTS for 10% off. Shop today. Shipping is always free. Your throat and lungs will thank you. And back to the show. A lot of threesome talk in the comments last week with uh, Jordan and Nicole and a lot of people saying it made their lives that to have those two ladies on camera. Why? It's their crush. There Nicole. was definitely one comment that said A lot that. of comments. We're going to make it seem like there's a lot. There's of a comments. lot of comments. You guys are uh, filling up the comments. Yeah, they love Nicole out there on the interwebs. <laughs> they just they just really love talking about her. Yeah. So keep them coming. This is... Uh... Drop your cash cool. app, <laughs> Nicole. Drop your PayPal. <laughs> That's right, and and um, and see Support what happens. Support Nicole's new feet pick venture. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Nicole's Tooties dot com, and uh, she's charged five dollar tier. It's not bad. <laughs> this is so long. Okay, this is from Riley Henry. Oh, Riley, Riley Henry. Got paid by the word for this question, apparently. Okay, um, <laughs> okay. your local wizard spots the group. Of you and approaches. He says he has a very special opportunity. If you give him money, he will make you more attractive based on the sum. For example, wizard points to Ari Shafir across the street and says, I will now make this man $1 more attractive. With a few words, you don't see anything physically different about Ari, but you're certain that something inside says he's that <laughs> hideous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I'm gonna we say, go. I'm going to say man uh, is somehow <laughs> a little more attractive to you. Good Assuming deal. you're convinced, how much money do you give the wizard? It's, dude, it's so funny that I, I love this person because they wanted to give like kind of a key in terms of what, how much money would like ratchet up your attractive level. Yeah. And they gave nothing. They were like, they're like $1, make you $1 more attractive. Now you can't see it with your eyes, but there's something about it. And you okay. Think it might have worked. Okay. So is that the question? Yeah. Like, how much money do you give the wizard? To- how much money do you give the wizard? I give him a hundred bucks. See kidding? where it takes you? Yeah. Is it a one time? Is So is it one turn? As in, like, you only can give them 100 bucks, and then you're only $100 hotter and you can't give any additional yeah, funds? Let's make it a genie one time thing. Okay. I'm okay with 100 bucks. Wow. Yeah. You get 18 more hair follicles come out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, genie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give them 100 bucks. Be like, all right, there you go. I'm, I'm cool with how I look now. It'd be so. nice to know what the maximum amount, like, to fix. Everything would be. Yeah. Because everyone's got their own I'd give $1,000. Right? $1, I, like, I feel like that's, that's a it. needle mover. It's a lot. Wow. It's a needle mover. That's but, a needle but mover. But you don't know. What if they go, like, in order to fix everything with you, that'll be sure. $100,000. Then a $1,000's not. Right. Like, it's, I'm going to get. How much would it cost to shrink Feeny's nose is the real question. My nose? How? Do you not like his nose? Yeah. He's got a big nose. Do I have Do a you? big nose? Am I known for having a big nose? Now you are. You have kind of a Pixar nose. Yeah. You got a Pixar face. You do have a Pixar face. You're very dad. Like that guy. You're dad from Coco Melon. And that picture, Dude, Brendan's got Nicole, a big nose. Bring up I got the a big dad nose. From I got a Coco tiny Melon. nose. Yeah. No, well, I not could, at the end. But we just lost well, like Wi-Fi. Here? So. That's good. You just lost what? Wi-Fi. So yeah, and run no water. dad from Coco Melon. Okay. Damn. Well, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much, you know. Yeah, the, a thousand bucks is a good idea. Damn. Because that's a real investment. $100, it's just not going to move it too much. You'll probably feel a little bit better. You'll have one less, Dude, but, you'll have one less uh, scab. Yeah, your fucking, your your t-shirt will have one or two less cookie crumbs on it. The the the, the fairy or genie is just like, you know, I'll just do that for free. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll, I'll do your laundry. <laughs> uh, so this is $100 more handsome. I'm going to throw out your mom's spaghetti. Hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't throw and, that And then in the future, I let's have you buy, if you're going to buy multiple merch from someplace, have it different designs <laughs> and not the same color. I still can't let go of Brendan uh, pivoting to try and convince us and himself that black sweaters are a huge <laughs> thing in the in the They are. Which, by the way, you're, there's also they a... Are. There's also... Oh, look. No hoodie on... Soder's wearing a hoodie. Bobby. It's gone. It's a yeah, Also, uh, what you're talking about are... 
You're also I talking saw, about I, I, sweaters. Scopo versus, was wearing one. There, there was a there was a is time. a difference. Sweatshirt. Sweaters is what I'm saying. But yeah, but hoodies, that's not... sweatshirt, and sweaters. Yeah, is that a sweat? What I was wearing right now, it looks like you're wearing. wearing a sweatshirt. If this was a long sleeve, is this like a champion it would be a sweatshirt. thing? What? Is that not? Oh, that's a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. But I'm saying like those long you wear, sleeve. You wear um champion winter coat t-shirt immediately underneath. Yeah, this one I like. Interesting. The, the, like if I'm wearing my, you do that. It feels if I'm wearing my North Face, I'll probably wear like a sweater under it or something. Um, mm. I've gotten more into layering as yeah. I've grown older, but yeah. uh, but I used to just be that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This I, I did that I when I was like good. CYO and it was after games and I didn't care if I got pneumonia. But like I this, just, the cold warm. skin against the inside lining. I kind of like it. All right. Kind of feels good. Okay. Um. Yeah, but there was a point I was at, like, I was somewhere, and I was just looking around at everybody, and they were all wearing, like, the Louis black sweater with the jeans, and I was like, I gotta not do that either, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, redundancies in mm-hmm. terms of fashion and comedy. Sure. That's why why don't, why don't you just be yourself, man? I am myself. This is what I wear. Parking lot chic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very expensive jacket, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. What, it was yeah, Men's what? Warehouse, and it was forty dollars. <laughs> Bob's Clothing Store. Exactly what it was. No, it was Macy's, and it's D A N Y. No, it was like fifty percent off. It was. It was a lot off because I got it. Uh, Actually, on, no, it Friday. wasn't even Men's Warehouse. It was Burlington Coat Factory. No, and it's, it's forty dollars. Ew. Yeah. Ew, dude. It's, I would it's never. It's called Burlington now. No, you know I'm a Macy's queen. He oh yeah. Oh, so you got it before it was on sale. I got it while <laughs> it was on sale. Actually, it was like this is like a, it's like four hundred bucks, but I got it for like eighty, dude. It was awesome, and I got it for Ireland. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone say anything? When I wore it? <laughs> What'd you say? Did anyone say anything in Ireland or give you looks when you wore it? They're all it's like, very loud for Ireland. Why yeah, do you look like, like the left part of the flag? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's dressed like our cheeks. Which is a terrible impression. That was. Uh, yeah. it's du- Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. I have to like say a word, you know. Hey, what well, why does he look <laughs> what why does he look just like our <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> 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 Dude, look why, at his why, lips. why, 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 why? His lips can't even get into Irish. Look at it. He's a <laughs> Irish. <laughs> they keep <laughs> can't get even into the Irish. Why does he look like the left side of our cheeks? <laughs> she went That's back British, to, yeah, dude. He went to, Thomas Shelby. <laughs> Thomas Shelby. Oh. So, next one. Serta style rock paper cannon. Oh. <laughs> which item beats which? Brendan spiraling into depression on mushrooms, crew with the flu, or Cannon finally finding a parking spot, but a person is standing in the way. And I guess I'll just sit this one out. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, I would never make fun of Feeny. He loves you. Yeah, what a little hot sauce pussy. Yeah. (laughs) Hasn't he given you hot sauce? Yeah, through you. (laughs) That's true. Make sure Feeny sees this. No, instead, Cerna Style just suggests marketing plans that everybody's thought of. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Go into detail. Hey, do podcasts. Thanks. <laughs> do podcasts. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should really be getting on Shane's podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. right. Have you heard of <laughs> Jerogan? Yeah, you call your manager. Um... We're f- finished. Yeah, I <laughs> can't been, believe you haven't thought about this. I've been told to hook up with your mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> Dates sold out. We love you, Serna. I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just busting. Yeah, we just busting. I'm just boys. busting you, pussy. Feeny's like. So Feeny's what's like, the answer? I'm not gonna get. Yeah, what is he offering you to keep you quiet? Yeah. All the hot sauce in Paris. <laughs> 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 to keep quiet. <laughs> What's the question? What's I deleted us? it. Well, you don't need. You didn't remember. The question it? was something about so me it. spiraling from depression <laughs> on mushrooms. Oh yeah, crew yeah. with a fever, or me finally getting a parking spot, but, but somebody standing, standing in the out. way. 
Now I don't understand it. So which is more of a pungent misery? It's rock, paper, scissors. Oh, what? Who, Crew of the Fever is not what? bad. He's mostly just quiet. Like, it, it's more sad than it is, like, mm. troubling, because he's just, like, like, he's just bummed out and yeah. quiet. But, um... Well, I guess they're all short shades of depression, then, aren't they? They're all sad things. You with the depression, you, someone's in the spot, you with Crew with the flu. What? You with Crew with the flu. <laughs> gotcha. Did you get me? I don't know. I got, I got your back is what I meant. Oh, different thing because you shot me. <laughs> uh, can I borrow that charger? I got a lot going on here, pal. What? Uh... But my fucking AirPods are dead. They did that thing where they go. <laughs> You're like, Fuck. <laughs> the minute I got on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, when I was just a little crazy, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How did it end? Started. I must hear. <laughs> I just started the album. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another <laughs> fuck. Public service announcement brought to you in part by Slim Shady. It's good. Slim Shady does not give a fuck what you think. You can suck his ball. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's good. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you can't actually hear what he's saying, right? Yeah, you can. The whisper. You can. He goes. He's like, ah, suck. like you, you can suck his dick. Oh, I always thought it was like purposely like. What else? Suck, suck. Yeah, don't do drugs. Hi. That's how that album starts. Tanya says, "Book of Eli style." You get to rule a dystopian society <laughs> as part of the powerful. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I started looking. Brendan was reeling in cards. a uh, pond fish. There, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he decided Why? to do. I don't know. I was. Uh, I don't know. No, come on. All right, Book of Eli style. Are you familiar? Eli, With the Book of Eli, the Book of Eli. I know of it. Yeah. Now, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> The Denzel Washington uh, vehicle? Yes. I never saw it. The book of Eli. What is it? Mike? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The fair book. Ah, I'm familiar. They lost me at book. Do you also not know what it is? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what it is. Go ahead. It's a well, biblical book. And uh, Eli is the one that, uh, is the one that uh, carries out all the Bible stories, and he makes sure that all of them happen. Interesting. I don't know if that's true, but he's blind. I know he's blind. You get to rule a dystopian society as part of the powerful few left that can read. What book ideology do you pick to rule the new Mad Max world? Dude, how frustrated would society be if Brendan's one of the last few people that can read? <laughs> he's got to just be like, hey, so the, the uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Let's Big one. Stop. Studio. Can anybody help? Nobody yeah. can. The, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, but no one knows he's wrong then. That's true. True. That's true. Brendan, speed spell fact, scenario. Speed spell. Speed spell. E A N I R I R O. And an oink oink ear and an oink oink ear. Um. E-I-E-I-O I get it now I get it now I see You were just Calling me a little pig No it's a little It works on Two levels I think it I think If I was a dystopian leader Yeah First Decree Be nice to me No one make fun of my jackets No more black sweaters Besides me <laughs> I'm going for an upscale yet casual business attire. <laughs> that is what I'm going for. Right yeah. now? No. Now it's more like like just slightly too small for you. <laughs> Everything's slightly too small for me. Oh. You just repeated my joke. I said everything is. You said <laughs> I was tagging it. What? what did you say that was different? Everything is. Okay, so you added what I implied? Yeah. What are you, dense? <laughs> <laughs> what do you pick? Oh, what book? Great. Uh, I don't... What, uh, what book? <laughs> Stone Fox. <laughs> what is that? It's my favorite book. Is that what the are one we with the wrestlers? About? No, it's the one with the... Stone? With a little dog named Searchlight and a Fox. boy named Willie, and his grandfather goes into some Fox. sort of like 
paralyzed coma due from stress from owing so many back taxes. And uh, Willie and Searchlight decide to enter in a major right. snow race. This is not. And, um, and <laughs> he beats a giant Native American Indian who has a team. America's win again. Yeah, and uh, and Willie beats him, even though Searchlight, the poor dog, his heart explodes at the finish line inside of his body, and he drops dead, and the Indian actually carries the dog and the boys slay across, rendering him the winner. That's my so I've never seen an uh, Indian person slay, like, on a dog sled kind of a thing. Is you gotta watch Iron dog? Will. Oh, we were talking about Native Americans, you racist pig? <gasps> what, do you think uh, the, the problem with Apu is fucking riding huskies through the Wyoming winters? <laughs> Wait, so was he Indian? What? <laughs> the guy on the husky. Yeah, Native American. Native American. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's from the Indies. American Indies. West. West American Indies. Yeah. Right by the Hufflepuff River. Um, Ocean. Sorry. I would choose... <laughs> <laughs> but wait, what's the ideology of that book? Never give up until your heart explodes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's what uh, I I guess I say that to crew all the time because he was uh he was like boxing with my with B Tag's son Bren, because Bren's so much bigger he's older than him, so he's just like he's like in pure rough house three year old stuff. And you know, Bren's like pushing him off, doing the whole thing. I go, all right, crew, enough, enough. And he goes, I never give up. <laughs> just goes back that's to hitting awesome. the kid. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, Keep that's beating awesome. Him. Keep beating him. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would Take out his leg. I would choose a, uh, a CCS magazine. <laughs> Remember CCS? Yes. <laughs> What's that? Senate t-shirts. It was Yeah, it was just like, dude. It was just like... Uh, Skateboarding magazine where you could buy skateboards. Yeah, you could buy soap shoes and alien. You could buy shoes and decks and all that stuff. What was it? Senate had the alien, right? Uh, I think alien was toy machine. Or was that alien? So what's the ideology alien, there? School sucks. <laughs> School sucks. <laughs> no I know. No, it's it's the Blink 182 Guide to Life. It's like Thrasher magazine. It's uh -huh. Get, get out of my room, mom and God. dad. Here's the ideology. We'll never die. No song. <laughs> Tonight over, is our night. <laughs> no song over two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Long, the, the song you don't names know how are to write a third verse. <laughs> yeah. Power chords rule. So I think. You would pick like. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> the secret the, the, to my success. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the art of war. I, ooh, that's actually not a bad Scorsese's autobiography. It's not a bad thing. You're bouncing. Um, but I do think that something outside the box could be just a nice, a nice, <laughs> thick cookbook. And the ideology there is that that is a thing that I can, I'm the only one that can read it. So we can read the ingredients, and as a society, we come together, we make these meals, we sit down, we talk about our problems. It's very, you know, Socratean in, in nature. And then you read just cook recipes? You no, we don't read it. We, we talk about, talk that's, about that's problems fucking over stupid. dinner. Well, you know, a lot, a lot of people believe that uh, food can solve a lot Who? of issues. Name it's one. Brendan. Seinfeld's wife. Oh, yeah? She is a cookbook. Yep. And she's on record as saying... Her cookbook can save the world. No, but in the right hands. In the right hands. The the whole it has to be perfect. It has to be an apocalyptic dystopian future. Everyone's hungry. <laughs> Everybody's hungry. <laughs> and I'm teaching. It's more of a teach a man how to fish sort of situation. When it's sure. a parable that I'm doing by creating actual food. Look at these these little plants. What do we got? Teacher do Brendan we, had a seamless. What do we got? <laughs> what, what do we got? Boring flat noodles <laughs> yeah. and and brigotte and these tomatoes and basil and spice. What are we going to do with all this? Oh, wait a minute. Let's make a lasagna. And everybody calls you, um, Mr. Grubhub, t tell us that story of the shrimp scampi. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Brendan rules. <laughs> Did it again, gang. <laughs> Did, it, Did it again. Another homer. <laughs> you just got sagalode. <laughs> <laughs> Another homer. <laughs> right over yep. the left center wall. Brendan's brakes are working just fine. <laughs> Somehow never run out. I think that. I, I think both what? of your ideas are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, spell guarantee. Go. 
speed spell it yeah or just spell it well now just spell it yeah g <laughs> g u guarantee you think i'd be saying it a lot huh g u why i don't know g u a n t <laughs> n quant quant Guantari. You spelled guant. <laughs> Guantari. So this is how you spell it. You spell it however close you can get, and then you fucking go- and then you Google shows the yeah. little squiggly you line. Click the little squiggly the line, line yeah. and then you click the guarantee. <laughs> Just try to get the like four letters, and you're yeah. Guarantee. I know there's there's like a tricky e in there. You know. Yeah. G U E. Bubba. G U R. No. G U A. Yeah, you said that already. Yeah. G U A. Uh huh. R. Uh huh. Further than before, we're in uncharted territory here. E. No. So disappointed. I am a little disappointed. What are you gonna do about it? Just sit with this information. Exactly. You just have to accept. Accept. <laughs> Spell accept. Spell accept the right way. A C C E C P T. <laughs> A-C-C Okay um, E-P-T Yeah Canon <laughs> Yeah But that's not what you said the first time <laughs> Not at all it's a lot of pressure You know Canon speed spell unnecessary You <laughs> E E E Bees Bees <laughs> <laughs> EU. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think we got time for one more. This is right off the cookbook thing, which is very fun. We also have a lot more spelling things people have asked about. There's hundreds in here. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, and I didn't even see all these Instagram questions, too. Um, okay. Sam Jarville. Oh, Love Jobby. The pod. Big question. My friends and I argue over how long do you think it would take to eat your way through an entire grocery store it is a medium-sized store not a costco or anything and the food doesn't expire how long to eat through now there's a show called guys grocery games where guy fieri has contestants run through the kitchen and pick up various ingredients to cook right then and there and in order to do that show they bought like a actual yeah grocery store that uh i think it maybe was going out of business or something and they remade the whole thing, and they said to like fill up the entire thing, like fully stocked every shelf and everything. They said it was like just that, just the food part of it was, I think, like over a hundred thousand dollars. Wow! So you're talking like over a hundred thousand dollars worth of food because you're not just having a can of peas. There's like thirty can. Assume there's a case of everything, right? So you got twenty four cans of peas, twenty four cans of corn. Right. You got twenty four boxes of mashed potatoes. Are we trying to finish it sooner, or are we trying to make it last longer? This seems as though it is kind of a, uh, like, what's the fastest you could get through it? 18 months. Of what, a whole grocery store? Yeah. I could eat a full grocery store in 18 months. And we're seems... not talking Costco. We're not talking BJ. No, we're talking the moderate shopping right. Shop right. Shop right. Whole Foods. Stop and shop. And we're not just talking eating while you're months. F- hungry. This is whole like... Foods is big. That's a yeah. Big. No, I was just, this so is like actively shop. eating, like a like yeah. competitively. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think eighteen months to get through it all. I mean, there's tons of shit that you're like, should I be eating this like this? I think I can get through it under eighteen. Are, are under? Are we under cooking eating. anything? Okay. Six months. Are we? <laughs> 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 now that there's no way to check, six yeah. months. I'm there you say, go. Two days. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Six to eight months will be my window for sure. Four months. But are we cooking the chicken or yes, stuff? Or not just, just eating it raw? Getting salmonella every but that, day. But I, I know. But what I'm saying is like, okay, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So you can prepare everything. Yes. Oh, you make and everything as delicious things, you're as you cooking want. Cooking multiple ingredients at once. So yeah, I think like six months, maybe even maybe even less, four, dude. four months. You're eating every day. Yeah, I'll make and a you're lot trying of soup to eat. all day. Yeah, soup. <laughs> Of all people. Love soup. 
Mike wouldn't wouldn't have the soup that we went to this very fine restaurant where it was because it was like the ass end of a fucking onion in dirty water. And Feeney's like, This will give you life. It was respectful. It was a respectful community that uh, was trying their best. It It looked like what they served on bread lines during the Depression. It was a young family (laughs) making soup. Everybody there was Asian and eating the soup. It literally looked like it looked like a a mouse child in a fucking (laughs) jacket with holes was getting it in. In a thimble, <laughs> and it was spilling out all over the it place. It was delicious. Before he could eat. Mike wouldn't even. Tr- he wouldn't even try his. It looked, it looked like. <laughs> and we had his. UTI. We had a great time over it. It looked like it's, UTI. It was his. Delicious. What did yeah. you? What did you eat then? I ate a fucking meal like a man. <laughs> Ours also came with a meal which we ate, but we also had the broth as to both. It was delicious and did not be responsible. Yeah. So you hate soup? No. Yes. I love he soup. hates. I love good <laughs> soup. He didn't. He wouldn't even try it. Soup. Not even one spoonful. No. Go, I don't like this. because it looked like the soup that was made by Renee Zellweger in Cinderella Man. What am I <laughs> out of my mind? <laughs> You'd be out of your mind not to try the soup. Do we have the I've Wi-Fi? Never, I've Can never, we look this up? I've never I met of a, to see this soup. I, I've never met a person who gets a free soup and doesn't put one spoon to. Broth. I'll look a free soup right in the face. You're crazy. You didn't even drink it's, one. It's not on a sip. the plate. Didn't even put not the spoon to the liquid. That's wow. what's crazy. It's yeah. there. It's it on your like tray. It looked like a salty oil slick. It, was, <laughs> it looked like shit. Do you have a picture of this soup? It was delicious. We'll go get it. We'll all go we'll get, go it. get it. We'll go get it again right now. <laughs> I'm in the mood for soup. <laughs> I'm in the mood for soup. Well, that is a... Uh, that's the show, everybody. That's the show. Sponsored by soup. Also, if you if you want so many more hours of this, you can go to our Patreon. We still have it up there. We have backlogs of you get all every episode over three hours. Over 20 hours. years of yeah. content. I mean, it's a lot. And if you want to get uh, your questions asked as priority, if you've just got a stinking That's hot right. question, you can join the Patreon and we'll give you priority. That's right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. We love you. Gramercy Theater, please. Theater.